If you're interested in adding to your curator system the capability of getting logs about the emails that have been sent in your Office 365 mail server in the cloud and want to retrieve the properties of the email so you can see who sent the email, the message ID in case that you want to retrieve the actual mail from the mail server, uh, the host, the, the recipient, if anybody has been copied, uh, you know, the subject of the email, etc., then this is going to be an interesting video for you because the installation is trivial. So let me actually do it quickly. I go into the admin tab and I click on the log source management app. Wonderful app. Um, this is a log source, it's not a disconnected log sources. And all you need to do here is add a new log source not in bulk but one at a time and if you type office you find these two this is the one message trace select the protocol it is the API not forwarded then you give it a name so uh, you give it a description when I'm installing this for the first time, I prefer to see all the emails. No, I don't want to have this coalescing events seller, but that's an optional thing to do. On the protocol, you put an identifier, right? Uh, and as you can see, I've been working on this with uh, the Bright Mutas, who also is going to give you the custom properties already extracted for you. More on that later and all you need to do here is put the name of the account and the actual password so let me actually type the password and after that I'm going to click here test protocol parameters the idea of the test protocol is extremely useful particularly when you're working with stuff in the cloud that you don't know if something doesn't work where is it that the problem is so let me actually put the password and click here to, to test the protocol. I'm going to click here, start the test. And you'll see that this thing is performing all the actions. Should any one of these fail, you know exactly in which, what is it that the problem is. Right? This shouldn't fail because I just did it not too long ago. And at the end of the process, we'll see that this finishes successfully. And you get that finished collecting event. Now, I already created this protocol, this uh, log source, so uh, I, um, I get this message that the log source type and protocol type and identifier should be unique because I used it before. I'm not going to continue uh, with this. So. Now, after you do this, you'll see that uh, you are asked to deploy the changes as is usual when you manually add. Uh, so you deploy the changes until you get that yellow banner that shows up in here, turn blue, like we see it now, and you are ready to receive the emails, but they will not be, they will be nicely parsed, but not all the custom properties will be extracted. To get all that done, Mutas created those uh, for us, and if you go into the video description of this and all of my videos, there is a public box link. Let me actually click in it. There's this new folder, Office 365 Mail Tracer. And in it, you're going to find this zip file. And these are the custom properties. So you download that, that file. And then you go here on the Admin tab. Go under Extension Management and at that specific zip file and when you do you will have these nice custom properties otherwise you will not uh, see those but again very simple to have the capability of knowing what type of emails are being sent to and from your mail server in the cloud from uh, office 365 mail server obviously in the cloud.